Hey guys, Brian here. Today's lesson is pretty exciting because we're going to put the chords that we learned on the left hand and the strumming that we learned on the right hand and put them together. Now it's pretty straightforward. We're just putting lesson two and lesson three together, but I have three tips to help you guys ease into this. Number one, before you get into the strum pattern, try to down strum each chord one at a time and transition into the next chord. I recommend that you try doing this first because when you try doing this, uh, you're going to really see the quality or hear the quality of how well you're holding the chord. Which takes me to tip number two. If you are hearing that your chords are pretty choppy sounding, some, something like this, like... It's kind of hard to try not to play well. But something other than this. Try your best to hold the chord and then pick each string one by one and make sure each note rings out and do that for each chord as you go through the chord progression. Something like this. Once you got those things figured out, then try to do the strum patterns that you learned in lesson three. Now I recommend, like last time, to do strum pattern number one first, then two, then strum pattern number three. And again, if you can play the strum pattern at a certain speed um, for like 30 seconds or so without messing up, then ramp up the speed. Now in the next segment of this video, I'm gonna have myself play four patterns, well technically three, and the first one, I'm just gonna play down strums, and then I'll play the next three uh, strum patterns. I wanna do this so that you guys can listen to how I play it, so that you have a better idea of what to aim for and how you're doing. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you guys have been practicing, I am so proud of you. Keep it up. I'm sure that if you've been practicing for about 25 minutes a day, that you guys have been seeing such great improvements since you've uh, watched part one. I'm really excited to see how you're doing. So leave a comment below and let me know, how are you doing? How's practicing going? Other than that, I'll see you guys in part five.